Welcome everybody to Let's Play Tales of the Abyss. We're back. When we last left off, we had gotten to Casadonia, finished up a lot of side quests, got, you know, Antlion Man, got our weapons, did all that important stuff, and now we can actually progress the story, so yay! Stop more story! So we're gonna go up here. And... We're gonna go this way. I'm gonna get out of my way. What do you have to say? Did you get lost by any chance? <laughs> to the south is the Kimlaska Market as well as the Port and Consulate. The main street of Casadonia runs straight north and south. So once you learn your way around, it's easy. Ah, thank you. What about you? That building staring down in the border is Casadonia Bar. All sorts of people gather there. Thank you, Ace. <laughs> I came here to find some machine parts, but there's not much use. I guess it would be faster just to make it myself. Wee! Wee! Yeah, kid. So this is the border. Yeah, it really was worth it coming all the way from Grand Kokma. Hello, ma'am. The line over there was the boundary between Kimlaska and Malkuth. Not that it makes a difference in this town. Yes, because there are no borders. Wow. One day I'm going to become as rich as Aster. Yes, Astro's the man who owns Chesedonia. What does this guy have to say? Imagine belongs to some guy named Astro. Gotta wonder just how much money this guy makes. Yes, he makes a lot of money. Clearly. And I, I totally, I, I promise I am, I tried to do my ace voice. And it, it did not come out that well. If you wish to see Astro, climb the stairs and enter the top of the drawer. Okay, there's a cat. Meow! There's <laughs> a cat! So we're gonna go see this Astro guy, because that's what we're supposed to do now. Anyway, so this actually loads. Thank you. Oh my, Phone Master Ion! If only you'd let me know you were coming, I'd have prepared a grand welcome for you. It's fine. We're trying to keep a low profile. A mansion of this size probably has a phone disk analyzer or two. I see you have an eye for luxury. Yes, my home does in fact have an analyzer. Great. Phone master, would you be so kind as to request that they analyze that phone disc? Would you do that for us? Name it. The Kessadonia Merchants Guild is always at your service, phone master. We want to read the data from this phone disc. Leave it to me. You there. <laughs> Clap, clap. Analyze that phone disc and deliver the results to him. Yes, sir. Thank you. Ion, you know this guy? It's thanks to the phone master that we were able to establish this place of exchange on the border. The Merchants Guild contributes large amounts of money to Doth. In return, the Order enforces the recognition of Chesedonia as an autonomous state. You must be really rich, Aster. Oh, Anna. I can't handle it! Wow! I wish I lived in a place like this! <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Here are the results of the analysis, sir. Holy crap, that was quick. What are they running on that analyzer? <laughs> Clearly, it's not an eye analyzer because Apple products. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I just got a rag on for Apple, you know. <laughs> That's a lot. I guess we'll read them on the ship. Then let's be going. Thank you for your assistance. Anytime you need something, please don't hesitate to let me know. <laughs> <laughs> That guy has the best laugh ever! It's so funny! Oh my gosh! He just sounds so... <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Anyway, okay, we're done talking to Aster, so... We'll go back into the mansion. There's an accessory we can get for Anis' doll, Tokunaga. And we don't want to miss that, because that's important. 
An accessory. Here we go. In this store? I think it's the store? No, it's not the store. But we're just, we're gonna check everywhere. Just in case. There might be more than one, you know, accessory here, but. Come on. Come on. Come on, bookshelf. What the? Luke? Luke. Luke. Dude, that, that guy's got like a hookah on his desk. That's freaking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Clear clearly we know what he does. Clearly. The north. Why am I I'm going for some reason I'm like going west and it's like no north Durr Shelly North. Come on. Get it together. Cause we're going north. And into this room. And there is a drawer! And we get the Time Traveling Hero, which is an accessory for Tsukunaga. And here's Anna, so let's just put that. Time Traveling Hero! It's a doll with a red bandana. So Tokunaga has some accessories that change Tokunaga's appearance. And this one increases its critical rate, so we're gonna equip it. Tokunaga! Tokunaga! In fact, we will put her in the party. Who are we gonna take out? No, we'll just take Luke out. Go away, Luke. You know, we don't. You're the main character, but we don't need you right now. We really don't. We really don't need you. So that's really all that there is in the mansion is the time traveling hero doll. There's nothing else, and I totally did not mean to click through that door because I know it goes to the exact same place I was just in. Why, Shelly? Why are you so confused right now? You have, like, all this information sitting in front of you. Just telling you what to do. And now we leave this beautiful sand-filled city. And head forth to Batacal. Well, we have to first, you know, catch our ship. Which is kind of important. I really, why do I feel like doing the ace voice again? I feel like doing that as ace voice. Ridiculous! Ah, here you are. The ship is ready. Please, come to the Kamlaska side port. Okay. Look out! <laughs> Hand those over! Uh, no. We shouldn't cause a scene here. To the ship. Damn it. They just don't give up. You're not getting away! Go away, Sink. Nobody likes you. <laughs> Leave us alone. Master Luke, departure preparations are complete. Get this ship moving. Now. Excuse me? We're being chased. Hurry. Yeah, let's go. Oh, they got away. Yeah, we did. Ah. <laughs> uh, just yes. Looks like you blew this one, Sink. Oh, it's you. <laughs> Leave the rest to me. With my ultra, super, hyper, high-grade phonic technology, I'll flay that conniving, long-haired, four-eyed... <laughs> stop, stop, come back! I'm not done talking! Oh my god. I marked the one named Guy with a curse slot. I can make him my puppet at any time. As for you, make sure you properly dispose of those documents from the Fomacry project. Now, who do you think you are? Just you wait. I'm putting this down in my revenge journal. 
<laughs> Just as a revenge journal. <laughs> That's so funny. And you know his revenge journal is sick for being an ass. Jade for being an ass. <laughs> That's his revenge journal. That's all it is. Just those two guys. If we made it this far, we should be in the clear. Damn! I lost part of the documents when Sync attacked. Damn! You're right. Sucks. Let me see them. Looks like isophone research. 3.141592653589793238846. This is Lorelei's phone on frequency. It's also Pi, Jade. In fact, I can recite pi down to the six. Yeah, three point one four one five nine two six. That's Lorelei, isophones, phonon frequencies. What the heck are you talking about? Uh, we're talking about pie. Delicious, delicious pie. That's <laughs> I don't even know, but yes, yeah, Lorelei's phon phonic frequency is pie. Lorelei is the name for the aggregate sentience of the seventh phonon. When a certain amount of a particular phonon gathers together, it becomes sentient. Control that, and you can perform high-level phonic arts. Each one has a name. The first phonon sentience is called Shadow. The sixth is called Rim, and so on. Lorelei still hasn't been observed. Its existence is hypothetical. Huh. How come all of you know this stuff? Well, it's actually common knowledge. It's okay, Luke. You can't help it. Just keep learning from here on and you'll be fine. Is it just me? Or are you being a lot nicer to Luke all of a sudden? Yeah, Tira, are you being a lot nicer to Luke all of a sudden? I, I don't know what you mean. Oh, also, all matter emits a phonon frequency. They're like fingerprints. No two frequencies are the same. Way to change the subject. Very smooth. <laughs> Be quiet, guy. Isophones are two entities that have the exact same phonon frequency. Of course, they don't exist unless artificially created. Of course, if isophones were common, we'd have our hands full with hyper-resonances all over the place. Isophone research holds potential for weapons development, so the military has their eye on it. That Pharmacry technology they worked on a long time ago can make isophones, right? Yeah, Pharmacry is like a copy machine, right? No, replicas created through Pharmacry are mere imitations. A replica may look identical, but its phonon frequency is different. One can't produce isophones that way. Uh, what the hell are you all talking about? Enough of this complicated stuff. Jade can read those documents on his... Emergency! A large number of monsters and an unidentified phone tech signature approaching from Casadonia. Great. Oh no, they're here. Just peachy. Oh no, they're here indeed. Okay, well, let's get into it. This looks like fun. I so Kunaga has a bandana. <laughs> so <laughs> battle is going to get a lot easier. Yes, you're done. Now that we have you super no weapons for me, and that's why I took Anna's out because she didn't have a super weapon. Mm, sandwich, tasty sandwich. Can we assume their goal is to stop Ion and the letter from reaching Kim Laska? You don't suppose they try to just sink the whole ship, do you? Master, what do we do? I can't swim! Oh my god, it's so cute! So cute. Shut up and drown! <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Oh my... Oh my god, okay. But if they intended to sink us, they wouldn't come storming aboard. Then they're trying to take it over! <sighs> so then, I guess we have to secure the bridge before they do, huh? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Why do those Oracle guys want to start a war so badly? What a pain. Yes. 
What a pain indeed. There's no time for complaints. Let's go. But Mr. Pac-Man Belt! Ooh, skit. Ah! Why do they keep attacking us? Let's see, there's nowhere to run. That's probably why they keep attacking. Oh, I wouldn't give them that much credit. Colonel, why do you look so relaxed? Didn't you just say we needed to hurry? It's just your imagination. As you said, we ought to hurry to the bridge before things get worse. Yes, let's hurry. The meticulously planned yet silly attacks remind me of... Well, I just hope my premonition turns out to be groundless. <laughs> he knows who it is. He knows who it is. Hi! Oh my god, it's so cute. Anyway. Been a while since I've recorded. Yup, yup, yup. It has been a while. And that's mostly just because I was taking a break. I had a lot of stuff to finish up and, and to do. And just, you know, relax. So, let's uh, get the uh, F out of Dodge, eh? I'm gonna check the entire ship, make sure we don't miss anything. Just in case there's treasure to be ha Ooh, there's this guy. He has a store. But we are so broke. Even though we don't need it, we're gonna buy it. 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 Rah, buy them all. Buy all these life bottles too. Holy crap, we need life bottles. The reason we're buying it is for the collector's book. So, uh, you're welcome. You can have them back now that I've bought them. <laughs> I don't really need them anymore. Oh. Why is the cane? You have a cane on, don't you, Anna? I thought you had a cane on. Oh well. So now we can sell this stuff. It's already all in the collector's book. So, yeah. Let's get rid of that. Let's equip that thing on Anna. Because I thought I had that equipped. I thought I had the cane equipped on her. I guess I did not. But yes, this guy with the store. So if you need weapons or anything that you might have missed in Castonia, you can get it there. Let's see. What else? What else? What else? Any more goodies? Any more goodies? Hello, couches. No. This isn't like the Tartarus where you can find stuff. Ugh. My throat's a little sore right now for some reason, but we are going to press on. What the? Aww. Don't get sloppy. Somebody's getting sloppy. Yes, you're done. Yes, you're done. Nice miracle hammer. We're not playing around either. It's a huge ass sword, and then you look at his freaking sheath, and it's like. Not nearly as. Cook some rice balls. Rice balls remind me of sushi, and I had sushi today, and it was very good sushi, too. So, this is actually the ship that we were on before, so if you didn't loot it before, you can actually loot it now, like the treasure chest is back there. It's already open and all that stuff. We don't have to get into fights, we don't have to, we're pretty powerful. This guy's just minding his own business, controlling the ship telekinetically, and he's not even Jake Curtis. Oh my god. It's insane! Oh my god, we're all gonna die! Who's flying this thing? Alright, that would be me. Now it belongs to me, the great Barrelo X. I don't know why I'm giving the robot that voice. <laughs> Give back that phone stone! No! We're going to use it in an experiment! Beep boop! <laughs> What's going on? That weird robot stole a phone stone fragment. Phone stone fragment? Does it want it for phone tech? Most likely, and considering the tacky design of that robot, I have a feeling I know who's behind this. You do, Colonel. Unfortunately, I think so. At any rate, that phone stone fragment is a valuable resource. Let's get it back. Chase Barrel OX across the... <laughs> yeah, you have to chase him across the deck. 
And if the deck is shaking and you run, you will stumble. Got it. Let's go. <laughs> That's what happens. And then the monsters come in and they attack you. And I don't really do that part very well, but I don't care. Why am I facing the wrong way? There we go. Thank you. Bam. You were just amazed at my arts. Damn straight they were. You totally killed it. Who taught Tyr to cook? <laughs> this is great. Tyr, you cook almost like a guy. Really? Well, you heap stuff on the plates and the vegetables are all cut into big hunks. Oh, that's probably because Van taught me. Just in case we got separated on the battlefield. Huh? You learned from Master Van? Yes, he's a good cook. I probably picked up his taste as well. Wow, I knew the Commodant could fight, but he could cook too? Well, cooking does use blades. Oh, well no wonder! I don't think that has anything to do with it. You use knives yourself, don't you? Yeah, so the key to cooking is mastering the sword! Whatever. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the key. No, don't fall home, you dumbass! Catch you! Thank you. Why do you want to do this? You get a freaking thing for it. Ah! Don't interfere! If you don't want to get smashed, hand over that phone stone. That's extortion! You're evil! But I'm scared, so I'll give it back. <laughs> Beep boop. You haven't heard the last of me. <laughs> it ran away. Um, is it okay for it to get wet? Ah! Uh... <laughs> Naturally, we'll leave it alone. Well, anyway, we got back the phone stone fragment. Here you go. P thanks. It's not much, but you can have this as thanks. I don't need it anyway. He gives you... No, bleel. It's a capacity core. It's a pretty good capacity core. And you get the winged boots. Winged boots, that's what we want. Winged boots. Winged boots are a special item. Let's see, this is... No, 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 this is the one. Elegantly... And we get wing boots. Where are you, wing boots? There you are. Increases your movement speed, which is good. We like movement speed to increase. So anyway, now that we got that... Alright, it's time to see what's up. See what's going down. <laughs> 